So for the last few days, the tension has been building as people have tried to get the better of Jesus and tried to trip him up in his words. And today he goes for it, like he unloads, doesn't he? And this is where you see what a controversial person Jesus is and must have been at the time when he was walking around on the earth. There's a reason that they wanted to kill him. And this is part of it. This shows us that he wasn't afraid to call out the things that he saw that were wrong in, in the religion and the way in which uh, the Jews were kind of operating and, and relating to the Lord. And so he does. He, go, he goes for it. And this is a reminder for all of us, as we're his people, we've got to remember some of these things. I mean, he doesn't pull his punches. He calls them, you know, a brood of vipers. He says, you, you're like a tomb that looks nice on the outside, but inside you're like a rotting corpse. He says, you're a son of hell to them. And he really goes for them. And there's some stuff that he pulls out. We won't be able to talk about all of it, but it'd be worth us remembering these are the things that really matter to God because we often get caught up in stuff that actually I'm not sure he's that bothered by. These are the things that really matter. What's going on on the inside? What's going on in your heart? What's going on inside where no one else can see? Because we spend so much time trying to look good, don't we, to everybody. I know we do because I do it. And actually God cares about what's going on in our hearts, um, whether they're right before him, whether we're repenting regularly, whether we're, we're coming to him in humility and, and asking him for help and, and showing him that we love him. What's going on on the inside? God cares about that more than anything. Another thing he cares about is that we make an effort to welcome people into a relationship with him and that we don't put lots of baggage on them that actually isn't from the Lord. And sometimes at the church, we can be the worst at this because we expect people to, you know, to do things the way that we do things and, and to, to, just come and fit in with us and actually Jesus here is clearly saying don't put any obstacles or any hoops up to people coming to know God and um, be careful not to do that so how are we being welcoming how are we making sure that we're, we're we're focusing on other people feeling comfortable as opposed to trying to make sure that they fit in with what we think they should be doing be wary about that another thing uh, that we see Jesus cares about really is the poor uh, there's this this whole thing about how, look, you, you're tithing your herbs, but you're not caring about mercy and justice. And you should, it's not that you shouldn't stop doing that, but you should do that. But just remember the things that really, really matter. And again, for us, remember what God seems to care about. It comes through so clearly in the pages of the Bible is he cares about those who no one else seems to. Those who are broken, those who are lost, those who are hurting. Is that reflected in the way in which we live? Jesus is incredibly controversial, but actually, when you stop and think about the things that he says, it's like, do you know what? Yeah, you're right. And, and we've got to be careful that we don't allow religion, our, our faith, to become something superficial and for the benefit of other people. We always give an account to him.